Hey y'all, um, I just really wanted to bang out a quick video. Also, I'm in the car because I just wanted a quiet place. Let me take my foot out the door. Okay. I also wanted to talk about No Child Left Behind and Common Core and all the other bullshit that we had to grow up with when it comes to education. <clears throat> so, in 2001, George Bush signed the No Child Left Behind Act, which has a great, beautiful name and sounds all pretty on paper. But then when you put it into practice, it's like, oh, people can easily skirt the shit. Because essentially what it says is the government gives the states money and says, make this, make the children more proficient, make them smarter or whatever, teach them better. And then the schools are like, okay, what's stopping us from just lowering the bar and making everything <laughs> easy for the kids so they can, we can just scoot them along. Because I know for a fact that <clears throat> there were a lot of kids that were so bored in class that they had so many other advanced classes like SAIL or Honors or AP and etc. Now, I honestly blame Common Core and No Child Left Behind for the fact that I fucking suck at math. And also, I just had really shitty teachers who seemed like they always had a chip on their shoulder. But... <clears throat> When it came to math especially, it was, here, test, here, look at this, test, look, test, here, test, te look at this, test. And it was no, like, actual understanding. You know, it was just dishing it out, and then, you're supposed to know this. I don't know how many times throughout my, my schooling years I've heard, you were already supposed to be taught this. It seemed like every kid that transferred in from either another country, another part of the country, it they were, like, years ahead. It always seemed like, <clears throat> like, of course, South Carolina, not the best in education. But, at the same time, hold on, I gotta open this again, it's starting to get stuffy. I didn't want to turn the car on, because it, it kind of runs, runs a little loud. But, with Common Core, it really just pushed students ahead and assumed that they were just going to figure it out later. And it was really glaringly obvious once you got to high school, and it was like, I don't know this shit. And then, when only this much of the textbook is used, but we still have to lug it around every goddamn day, and then fucking Michelle Obama's whole bullshit with the... Do you know what was stupid as fuck about the whole Michelle Obama, like... Um, her healthy eating, whatever the fuck she tried to do. My school had come up, somehow, come up with the money to get a frozen yogurt machine, and it had all these different toppings, and it was made by, like, some robot with, like, a claw hand, and it... I never got to fucking use it because it was so fucking popular, and it was only there for, like, six months because of Michelle Obama. <laughs> and it's like, so where did that money go? It just disappeared. All that money that was meant to go to that fucking frozen yogurt machine. It's just, poof. Okay. Thanks. And then, I distinctly remember school lunches declining every single fucking year. I remember school pizza used to be good. It used to actually not be oily as hell and had, like, little flecks of oregano on it. And then the next year, it was like, oh, the oregano's gone. And the next year, it's like, oh, it's a little bit more oily. Next year, it's like, oh, this crust is like fucking cardboard. And it got to the point where in high school, I didn't even fucking eat lunch at school. Except, <clears throat> my high school was very cool. It was like, I don't want to say progressive, but it was very ahead. It was very state-of-the-art. Like, it had all kinds of shit. Had a fucking beauty salon. Had a fucking auto garage. Horticulture shit. It was really, really rad. And so, they had a garden on the roof, and they would take the vegetables from the garden and, you know, um, cook them in, at lunch and serve them and shit. And... They had some good-ass fucking chicken quesadillas, I'm not gonna lie. If I can go back to that school, I would eat those goddamn quesadillas every fucking day if I could, but they only served one Fridays. <laughs> Regardless, I'm really trying to make this short, but I'm rambling. <laughs> After, I don't know how long it's been, we all know that Common Core is a goddamn failure, but no one really talks about No Child Left Behind. Now granted, it did have something of a silver lining because I believe it was No Child Left Behind that got me out of my shitty failing school and got me into a better school. 
which taught shitty failing school, was very racist towards white people. And that new elementary school that I went to was damn near private. It was the closest thing you can get to a private school out of a public school. But still, public school is why Gen Z is so goddamn fucked when it comes to education. I'm, I'm not exaggerating at all, and a lot of y'all can fucking attest to this shit. I had a girl, uh, I had a classmate, she came from, uh, uh, um, Switzerland. She was like, y'all people are fucking stupid. My teacher had a whole ass rant about the girl from Switzerland who had to learn English knows this shit better than y'all. And it's like, whose fucking fault is that? Whose responsibility does it lay on? Okay, like, I know it's a bit of a two-way street when it comes to responsibility of who gets educated. It is, it is the child's responsibility to study and try to put in the effort to learn. But at the same time, how is a kid going to learn when a teacher is just half-assing it the entire time? Because I can tell you right now, I still fucking struggle with basic-ass math. I got better when it got to, like, geometry. I was so good at geometry. And then I was so good at, like, I was good at science and everything. And then, but just basic fucking simple math. Like, what's 8 times 6? Is it 42? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think it is. But regardless, maybe it's just because my brain isn't wired for math. I am more language and history oriented. But then again, I'm good at science. I, I nearly exempted my anatomy and physiology exam. But I struggle with long division. That shouldn't happen. Yo, like that. I'm a go. It's, this has already gone on way too long. Tell me what you think, because I want to hear other people's experiences. I've had shitty teachers. I've had great teachers, but some things can't be get up, some things can't be skirted when it's coming from the top. You know. Either way, <clears throat> do make sure you subscribe. I want to get in that row to one k. Anyway, I'm very happy if you've made it this far. Bye.